Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to learn how to use a loop in Visual Basic. And to get started, I created one point in Rhino and I set one point in Grasshopper to that point. I also added a point zero variable, PT0, and I type hint that as on 3D point. I also add a new variable called thickness, and this is taking into account to the thickness of our step for our staircase definition and I label this as a double for type hint and I, I input that as two inches I'm going to double click on the VB and to get started I'm, I need to declare a loop counter which is I'm going to say dim i as integer and I also need to declare a, a list of points so we have so we can output that into our Rhino so I'm going to say dim points as new list of on 3D point. So what we're saying is this list of points, they're all 3D points. And to start a for loop, I'm going to type in 4 and then our initial value, which is i equals 0. And then going to how many how many times? So num minus one and then our intervals between our our steps our our list which is going to be one so i equals zero means the initial value which is zero and then num minus one is the number of steps that we we obtained from our previous tutorials so right now the number of steps is twenty so it's going to go from zero to twenty at intervals of one since that's what we define for step so it's going to one two three four five all the way to twenty Next thing we need to do is declare a new point. So we're going to go dim pt as new on 3D point. And we want to control this point in the x, the y, and the z direction. So to, to do that, we're going to say point in the x equals point zero in the x. So we're saying that the point in the, the the new point in the x direction is the same as the new as the point that we input in the x direction. And I'm going to do that with point in the y equals point zero in the y. However, I'm going to add the loop counter, so I'm going to say i times the tread divided by twelve. So what we're saying here is that the direction in the Y will travel in increments of one foot. Since we're saying the tread, which we have set right now is 12 inches, and 12 divided by 12 is one feet. So now I is one. So every time, every time um, the step changes, it's going to go now from one feet to two feet to three feet to four feet to five feet. Now we want to do the same thing with the Z direction. So point Z equals PT0 in the Z direction plus the rise over 12 minus the thickness over 12 plus I times the rise over 12. So what we said here is that for the loop counter we're going to take the rise which is 6 inches divided by 12 and that's going to be half a foot. So now in vertical direction it's going to travel half a foot per increment. And also that we want to take an account of our thickness of our step. We don't want our step to be on top of the value but we want it to be right at the value. And you'll see as this tutorial goes on why we need to subtract the thickness. And if you guys don't understand just go back to the code and take out thickness over 12 and you'll see what happens. Next we want to add these add the list of points into a, the list of points. So what I mean is we're going to type in point, points, and then if you type in period and then add, and then PT. So we're going to take the points in the X, Y, and Z, compose it together back into a point, and then we're going to re-add it into our list. And finally, we're going to skip next because now our for loop is done, or setting up our for loop is done and then we're going to output that into A. So A equals our list of points. 
then click OK. Now if you hover over A, it should give you a list of points. I'm going to grab a panel. And now you can see that give you a list of points. And then we're going to look into Rhino right now in the perspective view. So now we have a list of points that we can control the tread, the rise, and the thickness of our points or the thickness of our steps. So that's how to begin using the loop counter, the loop function. And we'll continue this definition in further tutorials to create our staircase. Thanks for watching.